What's up, party people? Before the fire, I intended to have some discussion of particular video games on NYC Foodways, not because I think that they're super relevant to the food and culture of New York, but because I think that video games are often written off as lacking artistic sensibility. I don't really have a lot of time to play video games anymore, considering that every waking moment of my life is dedicated to this project and the 30 other things that I work on every day. But there was a time in my life as a child and even somewhat into adulthood that I did play quite a bit of video games and I became acclimated to certain artistic sensibilities therein. It definitely shaped sort of uh, my worldview and the way I interact with things. In order to progress on this project of personal development, I've created sort of a gamification in my own neural network to advance. It allows a a distance between the challenge of what I'm doing physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and the reward therein by quantifying it in the same way that one would quantify advancement in a video game. This is why people in this space often refer to your level up. This is a, a phrase taken from video games. So although I don't really play games as much really at all on very rare occasions now, I appreciate them for having informed my artistic sensibilities and also informed sort of my linguistic or conceptual sensibilities. And there's a concept in video games that I think is extremely relevant to the way that we choose to interact with the world at large. And this is the concept of the limit break. So a limit break in a video game occurs when a character has reached their limit, has broken through this limit and is able to engage in some extraordinary act. And in order to reach your limit break, typically one of two things occurs. You either receive a certain amount of damage or you deal a certain amount of damage. And if you don't yet see what I'm getting at, allow me to dig deeper. In order to transcend your limit, you need to first receive a certain amount of damage. Alternatively, if you deal a certain amount of damage, that will also cause you to break your limit just in the other way. And if we think about the way we set limits on ourselves in this world, in the tangible real world, not in a simulated video game, although yes, it is possible that we are in a computer simulation, and that's a topic for another time. One second. If we graph this concept of limit breaks onto what we do, it allows a mental unlock uh, in the way we interact with the world. So this project that I'm engaged in, that I hope you all at some point engage in, this is a project of personal development, of self-improvement, and of improving the group as a whole, because we're all connected, is very much about breaking our limits. So we have self-imposed limits, they're physical. To transcend those, we do damage to our muscles, and this allows them to regrow, to surpass the limits. We have internal limits. These are self-imposed conditions that we have uh, placed upon ourselves. These are negative stories we tell ourselves based on whatever has occurred to us or what other people have told us, low-level people. We have limits on what we think that we can do with our lives that we must break through. And often these breaks occur after we have been damaged to a particular degree. And I'm speaking from experience. I had been damaged mainly by my own actions but by some external forces to a a particular degree that broke my limits of pain. And when my limits of internal pain were broken, I then broke my own limits that were stopping me from progressing. Do you see how this works? Your limit is to be broken in every way. You must reach your limit in order to break through it. You must achieve a limit break in order to gain the next level. Likewise, if you do damage to others, it will break you in some way. You are limited in what you can do before the damage comes back to you. Your limit will be broken. And I love this, I really do. This is, this is great. This is, the concept of the limit break is beautiful. And obviously art imitates life and life imitates art. And all this stuff is interwoven through these narratives in games, in culture, and then also in what we choose to do with the lessons that we can draw from these things and create what I'm doing right here. This, what I'm doing right here would have been unthinkable for me just a short time ago because I was very limited in what I was able to do, not what I was able to do, but what I was willing to do. I had imposed limits upon myself, and every day that I choose to engage in this process, I'm engaging in a limit break because the limit is only set by what we were able to do the day before. So each day we have a chance to create a limit break, to break through our limits, because each new day adds one more potential positive 
source of inspiration and, and everything we need. So this week, I urge you all to break through your limits in one way. Choose one thing that you thought you could never do and break through that. Do that thing. And in doing so, you will see that every limit is self-imposed. It's up to us to break through them. So much love.